welcome back to the channel it's been a bit but hey you know we're in Ohio and trying to find events to go to this time of year starts getting a little bit you know difficult so anyways we're going to an event at the Crawford Auto Aviation Museum they have a Ferrari event doing celebrating the 75 years or kind of doing a tribute homage to Ferrari I guess you could say so very curious to see what they come up with uh, I know they hired a new curator was it this year or early late last year or something like that so I don't know I've been very impressed by this guy but um, we'll see what they bring to the table like I said I don't know if they uh, delved into because as you know some of these events I've done around here you know we don't get that many super hypercar type things you know attending these events now that one I did down at Stan Hewitt was a, a nice one Multibella they do a great job of getting you know a nice amount of cars they get a lot of decent they, they got some decent Ferraris they had a nice turnout for that so I'm curious to see what kind of cars they pull for this event so back to you shortly we'll be at the Crawford for the Ferrari event okay I'm inserting this part this video or this little section before I'm shooting it after I left but I put it in before the cars all I walk around show you the cars and the motorcycles I will just say this you're not gonna be impressed by much um, nothing really crazy <laughs> nothing special just say that so it's not the good, best video at all in the whole world so um, just bear with it there's some cool motorcycles towards the end I go down and check out the other part so there's some neat stuff there but like I said just forewarning you not very exciting stuff you're gonna see so but keep watching just hit that like and subscribe button thanks guys all right so we made it in so we'll see how long they let me film I'm not sure if they're allowed to film but we'll find out but they actually got some decent cars it looks like but what's cool is we're gonna go down and check out the motorcycles too as well so they got some uh it's an awesome exhibit the bikes i did it before but i think they got a lot of new stuff so let's just check out what they got and see what we got going on see if we're we'll running into some people we might know and have a chit chat but they got a nice 246 right up front Look at that. Daytona seats chairs and flares car looks like a little bit maybe I can't tell I think it's got some nice patina to it good and we got a 330 GTS oh I love the yellow and red look at that color combo look at that very pretty that's an interesting color combination the yellow and the red hmm. what do you think ketchup and mustard <laughs> that's all I can think of as soon as I saw it. We got a 355 Spider. Let's see what we got. Six speed manual, silver black. Again, it's got some nice wear and tear on the inside. I like the black scuderia shield on it. Okay. Come around. We got 308. Down here, look at that blue down there. That's pretty short. Look at that. That car's a lot of fun. Very nice. I love I can get through here. We got a crowd of people. Excuse me. Pardon me. Yeah, it's very GT4. We got a 328 GTS. And the blue, what is it? The, I can't remember that name. Trail? CI. A R R O, I think it is. If it's spelled correctly. I think it's no shit. Again, I'm not a fan of Tan Terrier, but I really like that blue. That's sharp. We got a 348 Spider, yellow, black, and we got the ambiguous Testarossa. I don't really got all these cars curated from. I'd love to have one of these one day. Only problem is with all the maintenance might just drive me nuts but god look at that thing just love it the cheese grater side it's actually not a bad car but the problem is you know it's got a bad rap and we got a 430 tim frank this is tim i saw tim's this is his car yep this is a factory 430 manual car he had this down at Dan Hewitt and 
that car is probably about, ooh, depending on mileage. They're at the 250 to 300 range now. Factory manual. It's a sharp color combo with the silver and tan. That's nice. And here we got a 430 Spider. 260, I'm sorry. I was having a hard time telling those two apart. I'm terrible at it. Doesn't have the mental capacity. Ooh, that's manual as well. I think he's had some love. Got those bolsters there. Ooh, does need some uh, hide uh, meat, uh, feed on them. But that's nice. Let's see Tim's car. Get it up. Let's see here. On Tim, who's donated this car? O'Brien and Tina Casillieri. We got a 5.75. Manual. Wow. I don't know what's this, but it's a rare bird too with that manual on 5.75. Let's see what they say. He's donated her. Let him borrow it. John Ash. I'm gonna try and hunt down John Ash. We talk to him about this car. I think it's in really nice shape inside. That thing's stunning. Now I take that. Okay, I, I can live with this tan interior. Now this is a 365 California Spider. This is the museum's car. If memory serves me correctly. Yeah, this is a gift to the thing to the museum, but I love this dark tobacco interior. And it's interesting, Tom Bale's the one that donated this car to the museum. And check out the gear selector. It's got TV on it for Tom Bale. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a lot of woodwork in there. Look at that. I think it's, that think stunning. And then we got a 330 GTC over here. I'm going to like these cars. You can't beat it with that V12 in there and the size of this thing. Lots of fun in these cars. I like that dark blue. I loan from Tom Bale. AllFerrariParts.com. Check them out. So we got some other stuff back here. So that seems to be all the Ferraris they have. So like I said, when we were chatting in the beginning, I told you, I'd be curious to see what they actually get here in Ferrari wise because there's not all that many here in Northern Ohio. So, well, you can check out some of the other cars they got. Got a Stutz Bearcat. Okay, but they also said this is also an uh, air museum, Crawford Auto Aviation Museum. But tell you what, don't, let's, uh, let's go downstairs. Let's see what they got going on downstairs. Because like I said, you know, they were doing a massive uh, reno. Check that out. They did a massive renovation here. Uh, I forget how long it took them, whatever, but they did a lot to open up, have an upstairs and a downstairs. So, but because they have a ton of great stuff. And like I said, if you're a motorcycle fan, you're going to love what's down here. But they had a lot of older pre war stuff down here, brass era stuff. But they got some newer stuff. But check out the bikes. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of beamers. Where are Paul's, uh, one of his bikes on here? But love these. Look at that. That's sharp, too. Oh, look at these. Little BMW kids' bikes. A little scooter. That's sharp. A little crotch rocket. But look at this beauty. Look at that. I like that. Oh, we got some folding bike. And a double bike. Hey, BMW kind of delve in a lot of stuff, huh? So they must be doing a thing with BMW over in this corner. I really like this. Not so much about that checker down there, though. But let's see what else we got here. LT, got a nice stun to check out the old gas station in Sohio. I don't know if you out there remember Sohio. I remember Sohio from my back in my youth around here, but this is kind of a cool setup. The old gas station. They come out, they pump your gas. A nice T-Bird. 
Look at this nice train. Look at this speedway bike. Look at this. Like, these things are insane. If you've never seen speedway racing, watch it. It's crazy. These things get jump started. They're direct drive, and these things just scream. We got single cylinder. That thing is crazy, crazy fast, but those things are insane to watch. And look at that. These are the guys from over at Land. Uh, that's Cleveland Cycle Works, and he sold that company because he's doing the electric bikes now. And now we got an Air Square 4. Look at that. Four cylinder on there. This old Triumph looks like it's a flat tractor. Look at that. That's nice. And AJS. Scrambler. Look at that. You can see that. Flat track racer down here. Got a couple more Beamers. Some more Beamers over here. Somebody's doing a special on Beamers. We got these older Beamers. Look at that one. So I just have some other bikes over here, but check out the cars. You got this Chrysler 300. Look at that. Look at the fins on this thing. Yeah, they got a thing going on BMW more so they got a sign. So look at the fins on that thing. I think this is the first incarnation of the Hemi. If memory serves me correctly. Yep. And the Hemi. These things are a lot of fun. I like these tracks in the long for some reason. I don't know why. But you got this massive back seat. That. But you got the gear selector. It's in the dash. I think I might be running out of juice. No, I don't know what that thing flash on it, but look at that chopper. That thing's sweet. Man, that thing's got to beat the hell out of your kidneys. Let's see, we got the older cars here. Stuff and whatnot, but check out this Indian. Look at that. That's cool. Coming around. Got a Vincent Black Prince. It's a rare bike there. With the whole fairings and everything covered on that. They did not make many of those. I think those you find, they're missing a lot of these fairing pieces because they broke or whatnot, and people did not replace them because it just didn't bother. But you see, that's all one piece going around here on this. Then you got this all as one piece. Very interesting. And then we got a black shadow. The ambiguous Vincent Black Shadow. That thing's gorgeous. You know, newer Triumph Bonneville. We got some Hondas. All right, let's go check out. Look at that. What is this one here? Nineteen ten new era auto cycle. Look at that thing. Look how simplistic that is. Just look at how simplistic. And look at the tires on there. They're probably solid, but I mean, that's crazy. You got a Cadillac. Got a Chrysler Airflow. Why these things? You know, it's crazy that you know these things were not popular back in the day. I think these things are cool. But people don't like change. Well, look at that. Check out the fan. Let's go around and check out the fan on the steering wheel. This is your air conditioning back in the day. Check out the fan on the windshield on the steering wheel there. Huh? There's your air conditioning for the day. So you see we got some nice other stuff sitting back in here. So we're gonna go back in the corner over here. Yeah, that big old boat. But we're gonna check out. They got the uh, collection of the stainless steel cars. Because not only hey, we got the DeLorean that's stainless steel, but they got the trifecta stainless steel cars in the back here. They've had forever. And I don't know if that's correct. That odometer says 12 miles. So this car's got 12 original miles. That is crazy. Stated on it, a gift of Jeffrey Abrams. Hmm, 12 miles on there. I don't know if that's legit or not. We got the Thunderbird, the Cadillac, and a 
forget what that model was too, but these were, these were done up, made in partnership, I think it was with Alcoa, to do these all stainless steel cars. We just do them all brushed stainless. Let's see what this third one is. Model 68, or I don't think they did them all at once. They kind of did, did them a couple year here, year and whatnot and did them, but I want to say it was partnership with Alcoa or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Ludlam Steel Corporation. Ludlam Steel Corporation. So maybe that's a hit. So, yeah, so here, look. Allegheny. So these are the things they kind of did a partnership with these guys. So, there you have it. So, as you can see, that's about it. I was here for all of, I think, a half hour, if that. And they've had, what? eight Ferraris, 10 Ferraris. That was about it. So I said, this isn't California or Miami or anything like that. Or hell, even New York City could pull a crap load more cars than they got here. So it's unfortunate, but hey, what you get from Northeast Ohio, right? So I appreciate you guys watching. Hit that like and subscribe button down below. And hopefully we got some more things coming here. Uh, Hot season, there's a few more things planned. So let's see what we can dig up. Thanks guys, appreciate it.